In today's episode, we're doing a ghost tour in one of the scariest locations in the world. Happy Halloween folks, how's it going? Welcome to the vlog. My name is Sean and I'm a YouTuber from Edinburgh, right here in Scotland. Tonight is Halloween, so happy Halloween. I hope you are all enjoying yourself wherever you are. Um, right here in Edinburgh, that is quite a scary night. There are so many scary ghost stories from Edinburgh. Edinburgh has a rich history, a long history, and sometimes dark and disgusting history. We are right now in one of the closes, one of the many closes off the Royal Mile, which are kind of central ground to a lot of the ghost activity. I'll tell you about that in a little bit. But tonight is Halloween. It is the night when the veil between the living and the dead is supposed to be allegedly thinnest. And when ghosts and poltergeists are free to wander the earth among the humans. So if we're gonna see something, I guess tonight would be the night, right? And in fact, it was one year ago, almost exactly to the day, that I went on a ghost tour here with a good friend of mine and fellow Scottish YouTuber, Moscow Moon, aka the wee Scottish lass, and we saw some unexplained activity. Um, I'm not gonna say for sure it was a ghost, but we saw something a bit weird and caught it on camera. I'm gonna play the clip now. That's like a dungeon back there. <laughs> Yeah. The other time we were here, someone came in there. What was that? Did you hear that? Yeah, mm -hmm. heard Definitely heard that. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> I heard something there. Wait, that's not funny. That was an unexplained noise that was on that ghost tour and we don't know what it was, but we just know it was a bit spooky, right? Edinburgh's a spooky place. As you can see behind me, these streets are ancient. We are standing on ground right at the moment that goes deep down beneath us where people used to live hundreds of years ago. The streets have been bricked off now, up above, well above from where they used to be. But many people lived and died here in often gruesome ways. You'll probably know the famous ones like Burke and Hare who stalked these closes at night and took victims, murdered them and then sold their bodies. But also like hundreds and hundreds of people were executed right here in the streets up there on the Royal Mile. Many, many women as well who were accused of being witches right here in these very streets and who were hung, drowned, tortured, basically. Edinburgh was not a very clean city. Like, these walls here, they used to be 10 or 20 stories high. People used to throw their excrement out the window and shout, Gardie Lou. These streets behind me used to be filled with sewage like that deep just flowing all the way down to the bottom. People got disease, people were ill, people used to live in these buildings here, 20 to a room. And that's where the Black Plague spread, flourished and killed Hundreds of thousands of people here in Edinburgh and across Scotland. It was a terrible time for the city, lots of people died, it was just grim. Some of the streets here were literally closed off end to end with sick and dying people in them and of course they all died. So quite a spooky place Edinburgh and an ideal place to do a ghost tour. I love going on ghost tours and I advise everybody who comes to the city as a tourist or guest to go on them. I've been on them dozens of times even though I live here. It's just such a great thing to do, to learn about the history of the city for one thing but also the spooky, spooky past. Anyway, welcome to Edinburgh. This is one of the most haunted cities in the world. I'm gonna take you to one of the ones I know is probably the most scary. We're going underground and then we're going to meet one of the darkest poltergeists in Edinburgh's history. And he is well documented. I mean, look at these streets. They are just prime ghost territory, right? These brick walls here behind me, they have literally stood for hundreds and hundreds of years and it's went through ups and it's went through downs of city. Beautiful city, great for photographs and video. Uh, I'm going to take you on the tour now, up on the Royal Mile. Let's go. The floors in here are wet and slippery, watch where you put your feet. We're going to walk up two steel staircases, they're rusty, they shake, hold on to the handrails. Welcome to Southbridge. This is the road bridge that crosses the train station. You'll have walked over this bridge at some point and not understood that it is a bridge, but it is. This bridge is gigantic, it's 1,355 foot long. Inside are 19 vaults, rooms, chambers, like the one you're in just now. The first people to come down here was a company from Edinburgh called Rutherford's, and they specialised in the manufacture of whiskey and brandy. We started to build the bridge in 1765. From day one, the bridge has had problems, accidents. On one occasion, one of the arches fell down and killed about 20 people. Our locals are convinced these are haunted, and they've given what the place in her name. They've called it the South Bridge Entity. In the last six years, we've had over 2,000 reports of ghost activity coming in talking all about these rooms. And they always sound suspiciously similar. 
we talk to clairvoyants, mediums, and psychics in these rooms, and they always tell us, yes, there are ghosts in here, but they tell us of two ghosts. One of them is called the Watcher. He's the shadow of a man. The other one that's down here is the shadow of a small boy called Jack. Now, we don't know why Jack's down here. We've got no idea. But we have been told time and time again that Jack is desperately lonely. He wanders through these rooms trying to make you see him. We now get the bulk of all ghost activity talking about the last vault here to be opened, the last vault to see people walking through it. Vault number 19. Ladies and gentlemen, guess where you're all standing right now? We have arrived in the Greyfriars Kirkyard, very famous for a number of different reasons. First of all, Greyfriars Bobby, the famous story of the dog who would not leave his owner's grave. Also famous for Harry Potter because you will find a number of the character names dotted about the gravestones here because J.K. Rowling used to come here quite a lot to get inspiration, but it's not Harry Potter that the ghost tours come here for. We're going to talk about one character, George Mackenzie. 1638, Scotland changed its main religion. At that port we wrote a new law called the Act of the Covenant. If you lived in Scotland, her islands or her borders, you must abandon your individual religions to accept one new unified religion chosen by us. Presbyterianism. This was the law we brought in place just before we abolished Catholicism right through Scotland. If you said no, I won't do that. In the eyes of the churches, you were evil. You were a heretic. The church began to arrest individuals. They wanted to create a detention centre, a concentration camp. All that's left of it is behind these two gates right here. The spirits in this section detest females. Females, good luck. In the last 12 years, we've had over 3,000 people knocked unconscious in this tomb. We call this tomb the Black Mausoleum. Before you go inside tonight, and you are, a little bit of advice. Please, please do not stand directly at the back wall. In here, we get areas called drenches. They're barometric fluctuations. If you find one, your ears will buzz, they will pop, your blood pressure will cascade, and chances are you'll faint. <laughs> In the last 12 years, we've had over 3,000 people knocked unconscious in this tomb. We now call this a poltergeist. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's a vicious type of a ghost. Now, usually when you walk into areas that are haunted, you don't see the ghost. The ghost sees you and it runs away. But the one that's here is different. This one's not afraid of you anymore. It's now become a form of a predator. Don't let your imaginations run away, because if you do, you'll see things that don't exist. The walls come to life, the shadows begin to move. And sometimes, girls, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> the man that's just been here is called the Jumper Outer. <laughs> this is the middle of the most violent repercussive of ghosts this world has ever seen. But please don't think you've escaped. The majority of people affected by this thing are never affected in this room. Give yourselves 24 hours, give yourselves 48 hours, and look your arms, backs, legs and stomach for scratches, bruises, bite, punch, kick and blister marks. If you discover something that's never on your body before, please get in contact. We need to know why this thing's here. Lastly and most importantly, before I do take you back outside, you chose to come to this tour tonight voluntarily, therefore you must accept any consequences <coughs> that may follow you home. <laughs> <laughs> that there behind me, I'm not sure how well you can see it right, but right there behind me, that is the resting place of I saw something. I'm not even kidding. Like, a white flash went right in front of me. The resting place of George Mackenzie and his family. Right, whether you believe the legend or not, but George Mackenzie was a Lord Advocate and is said to be responsible for a lot of the deaths and torture of the Covenanters who are here in Edinburgh. At the Covenanters prison just in the corner of the graveyard. And ever since 1998, when a homeless guy broke into this mausoleum, and disturbed the grave. This place has been really haunted by, supposedly by Mackenzie. Literally hundreds of people have been attacked right here in this graveyard. Hundreds, like they go home and they've got scratch marks all down their backs and sides and they didn't know where it came from. Mackenzie Poltergeist is one of the most documented poltergeists in all of Edinburgh. And it's probably the most famous ghost story of Edinburgh. 
well worth checking out if you're in the area. I am freaking out right now. I'm sure I saw a shadow right in front of my face. It's probably just the shadows and lights that I'm making here. But um, yeah, Mackenzie's not one to mess with, that is uh, for absolute sure. This is his final resting place. I'll just give you a little bit of a glimpse. quite hard not to walk in graves here when you're coming through because it's like everywhere. Anyway, let's hope that we've not been scratched and bruised. Nicknamed by the locals here in Edinburgh as Bloody Mackenzie. <laughs> Folks, this is the end of your evening. For myself here or the ghosties and beasties you may find when you go home tonight. Thank you for coming to it to walk through history to come to my world. As you leave us, enjoy the city and let the city enjoy you, but don't enjoy your darkness too much because the next time you step into the shadows, you might never ever leave. More importantly for me, I hope you all have a dreadful, dreadful night. Thank you. That was certainly not the scariest ghost tour I've ever been on in this part of the world. I've done a lot of tours here and it's always quite spooky and that one, it just was done much, not much happened. But um, cool place to come anyway. If you guys saw anything behind me, in the shadows lurking, any ghosts, do let me know. I would like to know about it, please. The Halloween fun isn't over tonight because here in the Royal Mile, they're doing a Druid festival of fire and it's about to get started. 